Spirit Wolf, aka your girl Hazel. I am looking for this tractor if anyone knows the whereabouts of it in this condition. It was my grandfather's calling all YouTube people. I want to hunt this tractor down. I am in immediate search. As you can see here, if you have a tractor that is a D160 wheel horse and you live in New York near Plattsburgh area and yours is in the seat condition of that, I do not know the model and serial number of this tractor. I wish I did. That I am trying to hunt down. Further information if I find the model and serial number. It had a snowblower mower deck and I believe also a scraper blade. I believe this to be a 42 inch snowblower. As you can see, there's me when I was a kid on this tractor. I am yet to find this thing. If anyone has a tractor in said condition, sorry, I'm moving the camera too much. But if anyone has a tractor in this condition with the seat looking just like that, again over here, the seat looking just like that please contact me I'm also going to give you another shot of this one the grill and I want to find here's some more pictures of this tractor this is my grandfather on it uh, that's the what the grill looks like that's what the seat looks like as you can see if you have a seat in this condition in this style of wear please if you wouldn't mind sending me pics at 802-373-07 Three, three. I am from Vermont. Um, again, just looking for anyone out there who has that tractor. I also want to show you something else. Here it is. This is the back tail lights, so they are the all red lights option. And it has these silver little nubs on here, which I believe are like little uh, um, bumpers for the scraper blade. And then this one had the tail hitch that swooped down. So... If anyone was at an auction near Plattsburgh or or in Plattsburgh and uh, remembers buy and bought a tractor, this tractor or one that just like this and remembers who was selling it, it would have been sold by formerly Giro Brothers, now uh, Mountain View Power Equipment or uh, Mountain View Equipment, and it would have. Uh, uh, because I most likely, you know, they would have been there for the sale. Because they used to just put them in multiple different auctions. So I wasn't able to track down the auction it went to. So again, if anyone knows of, of, of this tractor's whereabouts. And is definitely sure this is the one they bought. Even if they did a little work like say changing out the seat. And uh, I know this is the tractor they bought. And know that it came from Jiro Brothers at the auction. That's who they bought it from. Jiro Brothers. Because that's most likely how that would work. I would think. Please again contact me at 802-373-0733. I did not want my grandfather to get rid of the tractor. But ultimately it was his. So for him to do whatever with it. So if you do have this again. Uh, just finding it. And I know I'm kind of repeating myself, but I'm really excited. So I will show you the pictures again before I leave this. Show you me on it, the style of gas tank. Also, the lettering. You'll see that it is it says D160 automatic right there. And if it still has the silver knob on that, that will tell you. And also the the decal style is the white decaling and not the the full is the white letter decal over the clear and not the full it also had a white air filter but you know people can change that at any time so again thank you so much youtubers and i think this this is where I'm going to end this video, but if you guys have any information on that tractor, I greatly appreciate it if you could get back to me um, of whereabouts where it is. Even if it got scrapped, which I hope it did not, even if it did, just to have some closure of where it went. Because I, w I would love to get this tractor back if you do have it. And if you're definite that that's the one you bought and you still have it and you just want to get rid of it, please let me know.
like I said, my phone number inside the video. I will be greatly appreciative of you for getting this tractor back to me. And I will come pick it up and take it right out of your garage. Uh, thank you so much, YouTube folks, and I will catch you in the next video.